This is Letters from Japan. Today I'm at the Gion Matsuri in Kyoto. One of Japan's most well-known and celebrated festivals is Gion Matsuri. Now, the festival dates back to over 1200 years ago when the emperor ordered each province of Japan to decorate a halberd to appease the gods of fire, floods, and earthquakes. Nowadays, the festival is actually made up of several individual events that take place throughout various places in Kyoto during the entire month of July. The main events are on the evenings of July 14th, 15th, and 16th, when the main roads downtown are closed to traffic to allow pedestrians to walk through the streets. Many visitors don yukatas, eating and drinking from food vendors and enjoying the party-like atmosphere. These evening festivities called Yoyama are actually a lead-up to the main event on the morning of July 17th. Now the main event is called Yamaboko Junko and is basically the main procession of large wooden floats or Yamahoko that travel through the downtown streets. Now there are two types of floats you'll see here. The smaller are called Yama. They weigh up to one ton and require up to 25 people to carry. The larger floats are called hoko. They can reach as high as 25 meters and, at the time of the parade, can weigh up to 10 tons. The wooden wheels alone are about 2 meters in diameter. Now the hoko floats are so large and heavy that up to 50 men are needed to drag them along their designated path. And because of their size and weight, rounding a corner is a major undertaking. To make a turn, wooden planks are laid down on the streets so that they can stop the hoko on top of them and then slide the wheels in a new direction. These turns are actually where most people congregate to watch the floats pass by, so it can get pretty packed in these areas. The areas where the streets run in a straight path are much less crowded, and it's generally easier to find a place to watch the processions. Also keep in mind that getting around in general will be difficult and slow, but you can avoid much of this by simply using the side streets and back alleyways. Now if you really want to avoid the crowds, beginning in 2014, they started to hold the same Yoyama street festivities the following week, on July 21st, 22nd, and 23rd, leading up to a similar procession of Yamihoko floats on the 24th. All of these events, however, are on a much smaller scale, with fewer visitors and less than half of the Yamahoko taking part in the parade. However, it offers people a chance to enjoy basically the same festivities without the larger crowds. So how do you get there? The Yoyama evening events take place over a large area between Shijo and Oike Dori in central Kyoto. Now on the Keihan line you can access the area by getting off at Gion Shijo or Sanjo stations. There are also several stations on the city subway that provide easy access as well. The Yamahoko processions will start on Shijo Dori at 9 a.m. The Yamahoko will move east and turn at Kawaramachi Dori, then west on Oike Dori. For more information, check down in the description. I'll post some links that'll help you plan your visit. Also, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. That's it for now, and thanks for watching.